in the house with Deanna. It's welcoming and it's comforting and I've never been in that house before. Um, I can see outside the window and first it's just the stars and they start moving. <laughs> They're like They're like, they're trying to get my attention. And they start spinning. You know, if somebody takes a still picture of a star, like if they're tracking stars, it ends up looking like a circle. That's what it was doing. It was a whole bunch of circles. And it looked like a record. And where the star really was in that circle, it was like a music note. And it was spinning back and forth, playing me a song. Like, look at me, look at me. And um, I go to the window. And I look over it. And... It looks like one of my galaxy paintings. It's it's the blue I always use. Um, it's pink towards the bottom, and it's even a little bit muddy in the middle because I blend too much. And. I use this technique when I paint the moon. It was that, but it was the perfect rings of Saturn. And I can't draw the perfect rings of Saturn, but there it was perfect. But it was my moon painting technique. And the color paint I used, background. And I saw Jupiter. And I'm, and <laughs> all the while the stars are singing to beat hell, the stars, it's really making a song. They're really playing a tune, just spinning to beat hell. And I see the planets and I recognize it's my painting. And I'm afraid of heights, so I grab onto the window. And I get shy because I can feel the planets and the stars looking at me. So I'm hanging onto the window and I bend down, like I get on my knees and I hide. But I'm smiling. And um, the more fun I'm having, the more fun it is to the point to where I felt like I was on the octopus ride at Valley Fair or the State Fair or some shit. It felt like I was on that. And that's like my favorite ride. Like it's not just scary. And it's still fun. So... That's what it felt like. So the more fun I was having, the more fun it would be. And I'm smiling, hanging on, and my hair is, like, blowing in the wind. Like, that's um, kind of where I started feeling like I was in the Wizard of Oz house, Dorothy's house. Just the way I was getting whipped around, like, um, octopus. And, um... I'm hanging on and I'm smiling and I'm having a really good time. And I look at Deanna and she's just standing there, smiling back. And um, I'm hanging on, getting whipped around. And I say out loud to my halo, oh my God, it's happening. 
it really happened and um but it's too soon and um I don't I don't think I talked to myself I think I talked to my halo um so that's what I was doing hanging on like oh my god it's happening and oh my god and um but it's too soon and I looked at Deanna and I said where's Jem and I'm smiling really big and hanging on and get whipped around I said where's Jem she said huh what and I'm like where's where's Jem and Park and she didn't say anything and then I heard the halo say, why is it too soon? And the house stopped moving. And my smile dropped again. And I stood up. And I said, where's Tara and Deanna? And she still didn't say anything. Just looked at me, very scared. And I started walking up to her. And I pushed her. Or I said, where's Taryn? And I pushed her. And she fell to the ground. And I screamed as loud and as hard as I could for Jim. Like my knees were bent and I was almost to the floor and I purposely broke the windows screaming so loud and shook the house and I sat up and she was also getting up and um, I told her I don't follow you I know who I follow out, and it's not you. And I beat the fuck out of her. I smashed her against every wall. It happened very fast. She's unconscious on the floor. And I'm getting scared because Jem didn't come. I'm alone with her. And I yell for Jem again, but it wasn't as powerful and it wasn't as loud. But I start to hear footprints run. I start to hear Jem run. I know what it sounds like for, I know what it sounds like when Jem runs from galaxy to galaxy. It's almost like a giant running very, very fast. That's what it sounds like when Jem's running. And um, he's very strong. It takes me a whole song like Runaway or November Rain to run across a galaxy. It takes Jem like the intro to one of those songs to run across the galaxy. I just hope to be as strong as him one day. Strong as fast as him one day. So I can hear, so then I hear, I hear him running, kind of where you hear the drums come from. That's where I heard the footprints coming. I'm like, okay. I just stood there and it's N.I. That's Jem's doppelganger. And I run to him. And he's hugging me. He hugs me. But I said, and I. I said, look at where Deanna brought me. And he looks up. And he looks around the house. And he goes to the window. And he looks outside. And he just looks at me. I'm kind of standing where he came in at and there is a door. I know better 
than to walk in and out of doors by myself in dreams. I'm just by the door. And it happens to be by where he came in at. Uh, he just looks at me. Next thing I know, he's, Deanna's unconscious on the floor still. He's observing what he's looking at. Takes Deanna and like throws her out the window somewhat and run towards me. And he grabs me and we prepare for landing. We land, he throws Deanna on the ground and we, the host lands on top of her. We stop, we go outside to make sure she's dead. And we see her feet dangling from out from under the house. I'm not saying that there was a thousand munchkin eyes watching us. What I'm telling you is I could feel a thousand eyes on us, hiding, whispering, gossiping, knowing exactly what the fuck happened. Like, this is so what's up. We just let them hide. And we go back into the house. I am just so grateful that I have friends like N.I. who will use something like the Wizard of Oz movie for someone who's blind and deaf. They will take the Wizard of Oz image and put it in my head to get myself out of one of these situations. It might sound funny or make-believe, but this is what my friends need to do to get messages across to me. And this time, we need to use a Wizard of Oz metaphor so I can get out of this weird place that I'm in. And no matter how ridiculous it sounds, I'm just grateful that I have friends somewhere to get me out of that. So, me and N.I., we go back into the house and we go through that door. We're in a hallway that looks like the back of the mall on Stranger Things when they're sneaking into the movies or the back of the mall in Terminator 2, I've never been in the back of a mall. I just know from the movies. But that's, at the door we opened in the house, that's where he took me. It wasn't like the hallways on the moon. It was like the door in the, in my halo. It wasn't like those hallways. It was like a mall. And we pass a couple doors, walking as fast as we can. And he pushes the door open. It's kind of dark, but it's big. And Pac starts running to the door. And I start telling him what's happening, what I just seen and what happened, and where Deanna just took me. And um, it wasn't like, like, oh my God, up in our feelings, fucking snuggle time it was suit up it was get ready and I went into the room we all start suiting up the belts were there Jem was there I can really I only really remember talking to Pac and Jem like this fucking bitch And, um, the way I see the belts, 
move. They're like soldiers. Like <clears throat> when you watch a war movie, um, I like. Um, I really do like Kingsman three. Um, like the way they move, like walk close to the ground and almost crawling but not. That's how I see them move, but. They're not in soldier clothes. They're in street clothes. And they are sexy as fuck. And I know what they're doing. And I know what they're looking for. And I am i don't fight very much. I don't carry the weapons that they do. But I am kind of like Bella. Where I'm coming and I'm showing you where to go, and I have, like, this shield, and it looks more like an umbrella than the image that Twilight gives you. Um, after that, it's, that's, that's my everyday, that's my that's all my visions. That's all my dreams. We're always fighting. We're always trying to save me. We're always trying to get me out. There's nothing different or special about the rest of the dream. We, we, oh, I might skip that part. After we suit up, we go back into the hall. We go back into the house, into the outside. So basically, Wizard of Oz or where the munchkins were. Um, that's where I see them move and moving around like soldiers, but damn fine. And I might as well end it there because it's, it's every day after that. But I just wanted to share that dream with you. And, um... And I, and I are who we are, and I'm not surprised or sorry that my crystal clear time with him, this is what we're doing. I love you guys, and Merry Christmas. I'll see you when you get here.